Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my January empties. This is the first one for 2023 and I have a ton of stuff. I actually got through quite a bit of candles, body care, wax, you name it. I got through it this month. So I'm excited to show you guys everything that I got. And if you are excited as well, then just keep watching. All right, I think I'm just gonna start with candles because that's like taking up the most space. So the first thing I have here is hot cocoa and cream in the three wick. This is actually, I think from 2021 and I enjoyed this so much. Um, barely any soot came out of this one. It didn't really leave any residue on the sides. It was a great burner, smelled amazing. I started this one in December and finished it off in January. It was like the perfect cold weather scent. Um, this is decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. Just so, so yummy, and I really, really enjoyed this one. The next one I finished, I actually finished this like two days ago or yesterday maybe, um, and that is Marshmallow Fireside. So I really enjoy this one um, for fall and for winter. It's just a wonderful, wonderful scent. It's nice and cozy. This one burned really well. It's a little bit masculine almost, I think because of the open air quality, um, but the notes are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. I guess the woods part makes me think a little masculine, but just a wonderful scent and it burned really well. There was a little bit of soot, I would say, um, but not bad. So really, really enjoyed this one. The next one I have is Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow. Really adored this one. I got this one for 75% off at, was it Summer SAS from last year? Um, either way, I adore this scent. The notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. I melted this one in my, or not melted, burned this one in my bedroom. Just a wonderful scent. Super simple um, pepperminty vanilla. It's just like such a simple scent and perfect for the bedroom, I think, in my opinion, um, and perfect for winter time. Next one I finished off is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This one is so, so good. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of wax left here, um, but this wick kind of migrated near the end. I noticed that this one burns so hot. Like, it's amazing how hot this jar gets, so. I was really careful when I burned this one to not burn it too long, but I guess since the, the wax kind of got really hot, the wick lifted from its um, glue and it migrated. So definitely not gonna burn this again with the wick being so close to the side. It could like crack the glass or break the glass or pop and I just don't want that to happen. So yeah, this one was amazing though. Just the best winter scent in my opinion. Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter and soft sugar cookies. Just like a wonderful, gourmand peppermint for the winter time and i wish i had another one because i would be burning it right now we're like in the middle of a cold snap um again in houston which never happens so i'm enjoying um my last bit of like christmasy scents but yeah i wish i had another one of these because i would definitely burn it again and the last candle that i burnt is a dw homes christmas morning now as you can tell this one sooted so bad um and was not a good burn <laughs> i don't know um, it smells amazing when you sniff it and it probably would have performed better in my bedroom, but it's like a coffee scented candle. It doesn't have any notes, but it's basically just like plain coffee um, with maybe like a splash of milk. And I had this in a four wick, like one of their really large low profile jars a few years ago and loved it. So I thought I'd give the two wick a try, but it still just doesn't perform. DW Homes candles I have like the worst luck with. Um, all their single wicks just don't perform for me, so I don't think I would try this one again. Really sad. Um, I guess I could have put it in a crock, but the reason why I would ever burn a coffee scent is to burn while I'm working in the morning to like make me feel more productive. So I would never burn a coffee scent in my bedroom. It just doesn't make sense to me. So anyways, that's this one. It was $9.99 and it was nice for the ambiance, but I won't be trying DW Homes again. And that's the last um, candle. So... Let's move into body care. I have one from Ryan in Leather and Brandy. He actually just finished this off last night. Um, he had been use this, using this one for a while. The notes are, oh, it's like a sentence. Deep fragrance with a hint of spice inspired by the comfort of a leather chair and the warmth of Brandy. This one smelled really good on him, like very fresh. Um, so I liked this one a lot. He's using um, smoked old fashioned right now and that one smells so good. I finished off a Christmas cookies body lotion. Um, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have been posting 
my empties on my stories recently. So if you want to keep up with me there, I do post my empties on there. I try to get every single one, but recently I've only gotten a few um, on my stories, but I will definitely try for February to get them all on my stories. But anyways, that's Christmas cookies in the body lotion. I've been working on this during my winter project. Glad I finished it off because it had started to turn yellow. This is a 2020 lotion, but just a wonderful scent. Such a yummy cookie scent and just really nice to put on like right before bed. Makes you feel cozy, so I loved this one. I finished off a Vanilla Bean Noel body scrub. This is the Whipped Sugar Scrub. I really like this formula. I think it like foams up really well in the shower. I love the little beads. Um, and I think this time they made the beads biodegradable. So they're not like the plastic beads anymore. They do, they're like sprinkles almost because when you squish them in your hand, they just kind of squish away. But anyways, Vanilla Bean Noel is fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. Um, vanilla bean will always be one of my favorites. Obviously in recent years, it's not as strong or potent, but I think in the shower, um, in this sugar scrub, it's like the perfect scent. So I loved this one. Another scrub I finished is my Scentsy Appleberry Soak. So really happy that I finished this one off. I did so good on this. Um, I started it, I believe I finished this off in like two months. So it started in my winter project, cleaned it out, um, smelled amazing. It really did smell like, like cranberry, pomegranate, smelled so good would have been probably good for fall too but i used it in the winter and it was really nice and i actually really love the scentsy scrubs that was my first one to try but that formula was really nice and um a little more harsh i would say like only i only used it once or twice a week because it was so um coarse and not gentle so be careful with that but i really enjoyed it for days when i was like about to shave just getting off the rest of the dead skin it was so nice i finished off this mini hemp's minty and mellow peppermint um what is this this was a lotion i did not like this formula the scent was so good the scent was really yummy it smelled like a wonderful vanilla mint um but it just did not moisturize at all and we had a really cold december so this was not useful to me whatsoever. I think I ended up finishing it by just mixing it with other lotions. But yeah, I definitely won't buy a full size hemp lotion. That was really saddening. I feel like that would be, it would be fine during summer, but in the winter I really needed something moisturizing. Um, and then I finished off, I finished off with Philosophy Christmas cookies. I squeezed the crap out of this to get the last bit out. So it's a little misshapen, but I absolutely adored this. And this was my first time trying the Philosophy formula. And I've already bought something else in it. It's so yummy. Um, the scent was really nice. And I love the like luxurious feeling that you got out of it once you um, foamed it up and made it frothy. It was so good. So really loved that. And I believe this is the last body care item. I finished off this champagne apple and honey um, hand cream. Really loved this one. I am such a fan of champagne, apple, and honey in the body care. It was so good. So that is the last body care item. Moving on to hair care. Ryan and I finished off a Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo. I'm obsessed with this stuff. They now have it in different packaging. It's like silver packaging with blue to silver ombre. Um, but I love this stuff. Again, another thing that saved, this definitely saved my dry scalp. So love that one. Another hair care item that saved my dry scalp, the Love Beauty and Planet Charcoal Shampoo Scrub. This stuff is so good. They discontinued it though. So I actually just like bought five of them on Amazon from, I believe it's coming in from China. So hopefully that'll last me all of this year. But yeah, they did discontinue this one. And I'm so sad about it. Okay, let's talk wax. I finished off a ton of Scentsy, well a ton, five Scentsy bars this month. I think I did good. So the first one is Graham Cracker Crunch. This one was so yummy. I, let me smell it. Cause honestly, I like kind of miss it. It was so good. It was just the right amount of like sweet bakery without being overwhelming. Like sometimes cinnamon is overwhelming, but this was like so wonderful. And ugh, it was just such a great scent. I finished off a spiced apple chestnut. I figured if I wasn't gonna finish it now, then I would probably have to wait till fall. So I just went ahead and finished it off. But this was like definitely a spicy apple kind of like a hot toddy. Smelled really good. I enjoyed it for what it was worth, but definitely more of like a false scent. Finished off a perfect peppermint. This one was so good. I actually, I think I still have a backup of this one and it's just a wonderful, simple peppermint scent. So I mixed it with vanilla bean buttercream. And I think I actually mixed it with the graham cracker crunch too. Just so nice. And I feel like 
it really kind of smells like twisted peppermint to me um but just like a wonderful scent for december to january finished off hollyberry cinnamon not my favorite i think this came in like a set um that i bought around christmas time so i probably wouldn't have picked this one up <laughs> it's a little powdery and like super cinnamony i don't know not my favorite scent and the last one i finished is saint knickerdoodle this one surprised me i thought it was just going to be a snickerdoodle scent but it actually has orange in it and it was still really amazing not something i ever would have thought to put together like an orange snickerdoodle but apparently there is there's like some sort of bakery um thing that happens around the holidays that they do orange with i don't remember what it's called but it does smell really good so i liked this one okay i have a few wall fragrance refills so i have this glade airwick this was just fresh linen or fresh linen sheets or something like that um i finished off cinnamon spice vanilla and this one was so yummy um just like the perfect scent for year round but really was nice kind of leading out of the holidays getting rid of like pine and peppermint and going into something super simple like cinnamon spice vanilla this was so yummy and i have another one and i'm so glad because it was really great and i did replace it with mary cookie in the bathroom i finished off twisted peppermint and this one was really great especially for the bathroom kept it like nice and fresh and i really liked that one and i have sweet whiskey that's going in right now that replaced it and the last one i finished off i believe is hot cocoa and cream Oh my gosh, yes. This one was so, so good. I did it downstairs in like our entryway so that when guests came over like around the holidays, they would smell hot cocoa and it was so perfect. Like just a really, really nice, yummy scent. Okay, I have a few like skincare slash makeup items and then we're done. So I did finish off a Peach Slices Deep Blemish Micro Darts. Actually, Ryan finished these off. These were super useful. Um, so these are supposed to be for like your deep, um, underground zits that pop up you know the ones that aren't quite quite ready to be popped yet like they don't they're not even white they're just red and they hurt and you see that they're raised above the skin we use these on him and they worked so well so this is from the band brand peach slices definitely recommend buying these i think we got these um on amazon but they do sell peach slices at ulta so good i think they also sell it maybe at target too but these were so awesome. So if you're looking for something like that, I totally recommend it. That was like a game changer for his skincare. I did declutter a few things. So I got rid of this Smoke and Mirrors brow pencil. Um, this is from the 99 cent store and I bought this like a long time ago, like 2017 and I've never used it. So I'm just getting rid of it. And then I'm also getting rid of these two Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit liquid eyeshadows. As gorgeous as they are, they're both dried out. Um, this one's gold and this one's like copper but they're both right out and they're not good to use anymore. So really sad that I have to let those go. I finished off a NYX micellar water. <laughs> this is my holy grail. And I think they discontinued this too because I can't find it anywhere. I'm so mad. So I will never get to try it again, but this was my favorite micellar water, so. And then I finished off a Smile Direct Club little whitening pen. I was doing the whitening pen and then the um, blue light little like mouth guard thing for five minutes a day. I think it made my teeth a little whiter, not that much of a difference. So I think I'll wait like a month, let my teeth kind of get back desensitized and um, try the whitening strips, the Crest whitening strips, because those always used to work for me, but that didn't really work that well. Um, and I finished off a mini Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I actually really enjoyed this um, mascara. It's hard to find a mascara wand nowadays that's fibers and not plastic. I actually really enjoy mascara wands that are like fibrous and not plastic. So I really did like this wand. The formula was okay. It was nice. Um, but I enjoyed using it just for the feeling of having like that soft bristle wand. That is everything. So that is everything for my January empties. I think I did really good. I finished off five candles. I finished off one, two, three, four, five, six body care items. So I think I did really good on body care and on candles and even on wax melts, I finished off five, which is like a good number for me. So yeah, I think I'm really satisfied with my January progress and hopefully in February, I can finish off just as much. I'm a little apprehensive though, because we have a lot going on in February. We have, I have a bachelorette trip one weekend. We have a ski trip the next weekend, and then we move out of our house the next weekend. So my February is going to be booked and busy and I'm kind of scared about it. So wish me luck. Um, 
But yeah, that is everything for this month's empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!